hi everyone and welcome to this uh, quick lesson on how to create a simple bar plot or bar chart with the Jupyter Notebook. Before I start though, just as a reminder, I am already in the directory or the folder that I want to be to pull my file from. So I have an Excel file here. It's all the way at the, at the end. It's called plots example. And I am already, like I said, I launched my new Jup Jupyter Notebook from the directory that I want it to be in, so I can pull the file, just as a reminder. So let's first import the libraries that we need to perform this task. Import pandas as pd import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and that should be all we need for this exercise. So we're good to go here. Now I'm going to ask pandas to read my file. I'm going to create a data frame. I'm going to call it df. And then I'm going to say df equals to pd pandas dot read. This is an Excel file. So I need to do the underline or the underscore and indicate Excel open brackets, quotation marks, the name of the file is plots example dot xlsx and I think that should do it. Okay, it looks like we're okay. As I always do, I like checking what I have uh, loaded before I start doing any other analysis or graphing anything. So I can run df.info and yes, 10 rows, um, five different rows, I'm sorry, with 10 values each. I have object, I have integer and float. Okay, that looks good. I can also do df.head and I can see this in the table fashion. Because I know I only have 10, I'm going to actually go ahead and put the number 10 inside those brackets there and run it again. And there we go, that's my entire table. It's a small, simple table, but it's just for the exercise. By the way, when I'm making these changes on the code, of course, you can hit Shift Enter on your keyboard, or you can click on Run, it's the same thing. You're running the cell, you're running the code. We are good to go here. Now, let's start with our first simple bar chart. I'm going to create a variable called sales equals to, now, this is just the name of the variable that I'm given. It is, of course, the same as the column name here, but it's not going to impact on what I'm doing next. I just wanted to remember that that's sales. You can call it anything. You can call it avocado if you want, as long as you remember that. So what I want to do here is to look into my data frame and then I'm going to pull. I like that term, pull or grab that column that it's actually called sales upper S sales here. So I'm basically saying, go into my data frame, grab that column with these values and stick it into the sales. So that's all I'm doing here. Okay, so that's good to go. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to create another uh, variable called sales plot. And in this variable, I'm going to say, okay, let's grab the sales variable, which is again, my column sales from the file that my data frame is providing. And I'm going to do sales.plot and then brackets kind, quotation marks, bar. So that's a very simple, straightforward way of just creating a basic bar chart. Now, this is not the best looking chart. I don't like the labels on the X axis here. I would like this to be sorted ascending or descending. So let's work a little bit on that. But basically I grabbed that variable from the data frame and I just plot a bar type or kind of chart. Okay, so let's start by sorting these things out. Let's create an ascending or descending order here. I'm going to create another variable called sales underline here, sorted, okay? 
So I'm creating a new variable and now I'm going to perform a function of sorting these numbers. So what I'll do here after is df, which is my data frame, dot sort underline values open brackets and then I'm going to say well which values do I want to sort from the column sales because that's what I'm working with that's all I need to do here so I basically created a new variable called sales sorted and in that variable I am putting my data frame sorted values from the column sales so Jupyter is going to look into this column here and it's going to sort it for me and shift enter okay it looks like it's working now let's create the graph for the sorted values right it should be looking it should look different than this one here let's start with another variable that I'm going to call s sorted Again, you can call it avocado if you like, it doesn't matter. I'm just giving a name that makes sense. It's a good practice in coding. S sorted equals. Well, now instead of grabbing my DF, my initial data frame, I'm going to grab my sales sorted data frame. Right? And then in there, I'm going to pull. It just so happened, of course, is the same name the sales column. Now, it is coming from the original DF data frame. However, now it is sorted. So I create another variable and I grab the sorted data, which has the same name of the column sales, and I st stuck it into this S sorted variable. Same idea as before. The only difference is that the sales sorted data frame it's actually sorted. That's the only difference. Everything else is the same thing. So, my sales plot, it's going to equal the S sorted dot plot. And again, I'm just going to do kind equals bar. Same thing as before. But again, instead of picking the DF data frame, I'm picking the S sorted data frame. Now I'm going to do a quick run of this coding. PLT dot show. I don't want to see the output necessarily, just a graph. And there we go. Now I have a ascending order from smallest to largest for the sales. One thing that is missing here that bothers me is just the index here for the X labels. So Jupyter is just picking up the index that it creates when I loaded the file, but I don't want to see that. I want to see the employee ID. So I'm just going to create a the tick labels here for the X axis, and I'm going to tell the system to run by employee ID. So sales plot, same as the one here. And then I'm going to say dot, set underline x tick labels not x labels but tick labels of the sales sorted database and again as I did similar to what I did up here go and grab the employee ID column so I'm saying in this plot set the x tick tables from the new data frame, the sales sorted, which is the same as the DF data frame, but sorted. And in there, grab the employee ID column and make that my uh, X axis label. And there you have it. Now I have the employee ID number. I have my ascending bar chart. And again, I can add a title, I can add more information, change the color, and so on. And I can also change this order from ascending to descending. All we have to do here is to go into this function here, the sorting one, and say ascending equals false. I'm basically saying do not do ascending. Shift enter, run that cell, and shift enter, 
run the cell again to reflect the change that we made and now I have from highest to smallest um, descending order not ascending I said ascending false very quickly I can also put a quick title here sales plot dot set underline title and uh, let's just call it what it is sales by employee ID amp ID I think yes run it again shift enter and I just added a title there are other ways that you can customize this even further changing the color of the bars and of the, the, the font size of the tile so on and so forth if you're curious about that check my video on the histogram building once you get to that part I'm explaining a little bit more what you can do there in terms of more customization but that's basically it how you move from creating a simple chart that it's somehow in this case disorganized and how you can sort the values ascending or descending and put the proper labels to it and have a more neat more presentable way of showing a very simple bar graph that you can create from scratch using your Jupyter notebook and your libraries especially the matplotlib library i hope you've learned something here today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time